right, so this is MLB Network's all trade rumor team. And I'll be discussing every single one of these guys and see if they are going to go somewhere else or or no. Elias Diaz, I think the Marlins or the uh, Astros could. I think I can see the Astros going after him because Maldonado's gone. They trade away Corey Ray. Uh, I don't know, like, any of their, like, catching prodigies right now. So, Elias Diaz, you look at his numbers right now uh, with the Rockies. He uh, obviously cores field, but come on, he's a catcher. So, he's on his fucking knees all the time. 267, 14 home runs. Pretty solid. 72 RBIs. I think the year before. What was the year before? He had nine home runs. Again, bad 228. The year before, it was way better. He had 18 home runs. So, he can hit some home runs. He's 32. He's not as old as Maldonado. Experienced catcher. I don't know how. I don't think he's not that good defensively. He's more of an offensive guy. But if the Astros want to go after him and like move on, trade for him, I don't think it'll be that much. The Rockies probably want to move on from him anyway. Um, they have the catcher Drew Romo. I don't know if he's like ready, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens with uh, Mel, uh, Diaz. Um, that's one guy. Next one is P. Alonso. Um. This one is this one is uh, fucking tricky, man. P. Alonzo, you got the Cubs, obviously needing a first baseman. Uh, I don't know, like I'm thinking of other teams. The Angels need uh, Angels always need a first baseman, but they ain't got trade for him. <laughs> um, I just think of the Cubs when they really need a th first baseman. I don't think he's getting traded. I think he's staying with the Mets. Uh, I think Billy Upler wanted to trade him, and then fucking Cohen's like, I'm not letting you do that shit. And he fired him. And then he hired uh, Stearns or, yeah, from the uh, Brewers. So I don't think he'll be traded. It's just a rumor. Um, I think he's staying in New York. I don't think he'll be traded at all. All right, next one is uh, a legend. Johnson India, former rookie of the year. Um, the Reds may trade him. I, I think, I don't know. Because the other guy, the other prospect, they called up uh, Niova. I forgot his last name. I, I don't know if he's ready. You look at India's numbers last year. Um, not that good. 17 home runs, 244. Not the best, man. Not the best. But no, it could be worse. The year before, he bad what? Fucking look at that shit. year before, wasn't that good either. 10 home runs. Uh, he just had a really good rookie. A solid rookie year. Um, that's why he won rookie of the year. Uh... I don't know. He's 26, so he's not that old. Maybe a team takes a chance with him. I can't think of any teams that really need a second baseman off the top of my head, but he's a solid player. It's just I think the Reds, they have a lot of infielders, a lot of young infielders, and uh, I think it's time for them to move on, but I won't be shocked if they just keep him because uh, the other guy, maybe they bring send him back to the minors so they can get more seasoning. But I don't know. Uh, Johnson India, I don't think he fits uh, the Reds' current uh, current um, plan, and I think he'll probably be traded. I can I just can't think of teams at the moment. All right, Miggy Miggy Rojas from the Dodgers. Uh, because what Gavin Lux will be coming back, so I don't teams that need shortstop like the Braves. Maybe the White Sox make a Mickey Mouse trade, sending like a low level prospect. They're just the guy to be a, a stopgap for whoever prospect they have. Um, who else needs a shortstop? The Angels maybe would make a, a little trade. I don't know. I think he's not worth that much. Um, at that point, he's not. Uh, he's not that good offensively. So, and he's pretty old. Um, he's a good athlete, but not like a terrific baseball player. So I don't know what teams would really want to give up a lot for him. So let's move on to Nick Madrigal. All right, next one is an interesting one. Nick Madrigal from the Cubs. Um, teams that would want him, maybe the Yankees if they don't, they go cheap. Uh, car, uh, not the Cardinals, the Diamondbacks again if they go cheap. The Giants. Teams are in the third baseman market because maybe the Cubs are going to be spending big on third base. You know, Matt Chapman or they'll bring back uh, um, Candelario and they don't need him. So, you look at his stats. 
It's fucking perplexing. This guy doesn't play any games, man. First game with the White Sox, 29 games. Yeah, rookie year, I guess. And then second game, second year only. Oh, and 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. Second year, 2021, 54 games. So barely played any games. He's an average guy, like an average hitter. Um, with the Cubs, only played 59. And then the most games he played was 92. So I think he wants to go to a team that will give him playing time. His career average is 280. Not that many home runs, only four career home runs. So he's just an average hitter. I think he hit a home run opening day, too. No, he didn't hit any home runs. I think he did hit a home run opening day. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, so he's just an average hitter. Um, whoever picks him up, maybe the Jays make a trade for him, too. Yeah, the Jays maybe will be in the market for Matt Dull, but I, I don't want him because he's just an average hitter. And I don't know if he... I don't know if he has is dealing with any injuries or whatever, but if the Cubs want to make a splash to bring back Candelario or get Matt Chapman, uh, they probably would trade Matt Gregal. He's the odd man out. Next one is Juan Soto. You know, we're hearing Yankees. We're hearing Cubs. We're hearing Braves and during the fucking season. I don't think he'll... I don't know if he'll go to the Braves, but I think this... I don't know. I think... I think he stays on the. I think he stays on the uh, Padres. But if they have a fucking terrible season again, he's traded. I don't think they'll trade him this off season. We'll. I'll maybe wrong, but I don't think he'll be traded this off season. Um, those are teams that are like willing to m make a deal. Um, Juan Soto's a beast. He's one of the best players in baseball. Still very fucking young, uh, athletic. Not a best fielder. Not a good fielder, but he's a great contact hitter. World Series champion, one of the best young players in the game. Any fucking team would want him, okay? Any team would want him. If you if you don't want him, you're lying, okay? This guy's amazing. He's a good player. Um, and uh, moving on to the next guy. As much as I would want the fucking Orioles to get rid of him, this uh, get rid of this guy, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> the Orioles, this he this is stupid. Why is he on the tra Why is he in the trade rumors at all? I get Diaz, I get Pilonzo because of the rumblings, I get Roas, who gives a shit, he sucks. Madrigal, I get it. Soto, I get it. Sandy, why would the Orioles trade Santander? Unless it's for Juan Soto, which will piss me off. But why would the Orioles trade for trade Santander? Um, you look at his numbers throughout his entire career. First two years, ignore that because he barely even played. 2019, 20 home runs, bad 261. 2020, 13 home runs, bad 261 again. 2021, 18 home runs. Yeah, he went downhill right here. Uh, bad 241. And then he started hitting for fucking pop. Um, 2022 fucking popped off. 82, 89 RBIs, 33 home runs. Um, 2023, 28 home runs, 95 RBIs. So why would, why would the Orioles get rid of this guy? He's only 28, and he has 111 career home runs. He's a home run guy, switch hitter. I don't get this trade rumor at all. Unless the Orioles are really fucking stupid. They, or they're going after like a bigger fish. Uh, I wouldn't trade Santander at all. So, yeah, this is a stupid rumor right here. Our right, next one is very, very possible. It's Alex Verdugo, the guy that, um, that they got for Mookie Betts. And it did not pound out at all. Alex Verdugo... Is a bust in Boston. He's a solid player. I like him. He's only 27. But the pop is not there for him, man. The pop. He only has 57 career home runs. His best season was what? What was like 2021 probably? I, again, he's never hit 20 home runs in a career. His best season was like what? I think last year. He hit, Last year was his best season like overall. Bad 280 pretty good. 74 RBIs. 11 homers. The pop wasn't there in Fenway. I know he's a lefty in Fenway, and that you know that's a bigger field there. But like, in favor him, and I get why he's in trade rumors. I don't know the Braves maybe would get him. He'd be a good piece for the team. I'm thinking of other. I think that's the only team I can think of the Braves really. Um, again, they need outfielding the Braves, but they could go after a guy in free agency or bigger fish. So yeah. Verdugo, uh, the Red Sox should trade him because he was a bust, and I think the Red Sox should go after a bigger name. I hope they don't. I hope they keep him, but 
Yeah, Alex Verdugo, solid player, but he he wasn't worth give, get, giving rid of Mookie for. None of those prospects panned out, and Verdugo's a good, not great. Not even a star player that they got for uh, Buki Betts. He's a good player. I like Verdugo. But, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. All right, this next guy, he's a young player. Eloy Jimenez from the White Sox. The White Sox um, GM says the team's not good enough, so maybe they give rid of pieces from the old teams. Eloy Jimenez hasn't hit 20 home runs in, since 2019. He's only 26, so that's a positive. Uh, last year he batted 272, so not bad. Eight, 18 home runs. The pop has to be there though. A career 89 home runs. He's only 26. His rookie year was insane, man. 31 home runs, 79 RBI. Second year, obviously 2020 Mickey year. Played really good, 295. And then injuries hit. Uh, 2021 was bad, bad two 249. His worst year, 10 home runs. And then 2022. Good season overall, about 295, only played 84 games, 16 homers. Last year was solid, only played 120, so the injuries are a problem. Teams like the Yankees, Braves, even the Jays, maybe if they don't get anyone in the free agency market, take a flyer on him. This guy has come, this guy has to have some control, right? So he's a free agent in 2025. Actually, no, he doesn't have that much control, so you have to give him a contract later. And if the White Sox really want to give up on him, Really, really want to get give up on him. He's only twenty, like he's twenty six, but maybe they really want to go younger. So, and they really gave up on him. Like he's a solid player, but he just keeps getting hurt, and that's like that's the issue with him. Um, all right, moving on to the biggest fish, probably of all this, him or Soto, probably the biggest. All right, next one is former Cy Young Corbin Burns, the Dodgers. You know he's a L.A. kid. Um. The Diamondbacks, who the fucking else needs pitching, man? I'm thinking. Not the Cardinals because they're not going to trade with the division, not the Reds again. Um, the Yankees, maybe. You know, those are possibilities. The Red Sox. Um, those are teams that could go after him. This guy is amazing. Last year, didn't start off that good. Um, I, I remember him struggling. Like this, His worst, fo his worst season since 2019. When he was a relief, relief pitcher. So his worst season since 2019. His worst average was 339. Which is pretty fucking good. Three straight years of 200 plus strikeouts. 870 career strikeouts. He's only 28. He's in his prime. Uh, uh, yeah. A team like the Dodgers would probably trade for him. I think he's a Dodger. I think. Um, one of the best pitchers in baseball. And I think he really wants to leave the Brewers so bad. Um. Him and the Brewers have been arguing over arbitration and all that shit. Um, he's a great player. He's a really good player. And uh, may, I think the Dodgers are probably going to go after him. I don't know. Maybe this year or at the trade deadline. Uh, maybe the trade deadline piece because he's one year. If the, the Brewers would be stupid if they don't extend him or trade him. But I don't see him extending him because the Brewers don't, they don't shell out cash. Um, so... I see, uh, I really see Corbin Burns gone. I think this is the most likely trade candidate out of all these guys. Um, Corbin Burns is fucking gone. Goodbye. I, 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 the bridges have been burned. All right, last one on this list is David Betnar. Um, you can see, like, the Rangers going after him because, again, they lost, uh, they're letting go of, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Chapman, and maybe they want to go after like a more established closer. Um, the uh, Phillies may trade for him again because they want to move on from Craig Kimbrell. And uh, Betnar is from uh, Pennsylvania, so he, he won't be changing his fucking state. Um, he's a good player. I like David Betnar. I don't really think the uh, Pirates are gonna get rid of him because I think he's part of their future. Um, He's a solid player. I like David Bettinar, one of the best closers in baseball. And uh, was a, was an all-star a couple times, I think. Um, I think the Pirates are going to keep on to him. But I think, yeah, the Rangers and Phillies are teams who would go after him. Uh, maybe the Yankees, you know, they need a closer, like an established guy. Not Clay Holmes. Um, but 
That's all I gotta say. Those are the, that's the list on the all trade rumor team from MLB Network. Wow. Um. So, I think the worst one, the most, the worst one, the most unrealistic one is Anthony Santander. I do not see him getting traded one fucking bit. I will be really shocked if that happens. So that's the trade rumors list. Um. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Peace.